Hey guys, what's up? This is Technator here, and uh, today I have a review of a G-Shock. Uh, now, if you don't know what a G-Shock is, it's a kind of watch, uh, and it's very popular around where I am. Uh, so this is the DW6900 SB8, so I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and then review for you guys. Now, I've already opened this box, and as you can see, the G-Shocks, they come in this nice tin, uh, so I think, I think that's pretty nice. Uh, it's, it's better than just, you know, the tame packaging, but this is, you know, it's a carrying case as well, so that's nice. So let's just pop this right open. So as you can see, there's the watch right there. I opted to go with the uh, gray one with the red screen because I, I just like the design. Uh, so let me get that up to the camera, just pull this out, and see it has this nice padding in here. Uh, so you can see it might be a little bit hard to see the display just because it doesn't show up very well on camera, but... Oh, uh, you can see it. Okay. And then it also lights up. Uh, and it lights up kind of pinkish. Uh, but I like that. Alright. And here inside the box, we've just got the uh, the user's guide. And you got this little... Um, information sheet about the band. Who reads that? Alright, so, let's get, get into the review of this watch. I've been wearing this watch for a day now. I got it yesterday. And, um, I like it quite a bit. I really like this, this metallic silver uh, look to it. And I, I really like this red screen. Uh, I think it's, it's really striking. It's a very, it's a very uh, sophisticated design. So, uh, also, these watches are very shock resistant. Uh, you could basically hit them with a hammer, and they wouldn't break. Uh, you could also submerge them up to 200 meters of water, uh, and uh, various other heat tests and stuff. As for the fun functions of it, uh, it's pretty standard stuff. Right, right now, I just have it on the regular clock set in. Uh, here we've got my alarm, which I have set for 6.30 in the morning, so it helps me wake up. Uh, here we have a countdown timer, and we have a regular stopwatch, so you know, uh, and you, you want me to start it, and you see it works, wow, okay, now, this watch is really, you know, aside from functionality, it's really just a, a style type of thing, uh, but I think it's really nice. And I would suggest it to most people, though the only downside to it, there's a couple. Uh, first up, this is not their nicest watch. G-Shock does offer some uh, nicer specification watches. Uh, this one is, let's see, I'm on their website right now, and I'm just looking at their the stuff they say this has. This says it's 200 meter water resistant. It has the backlight, a multifunction alarm uh, with an hourly time signal, a flash alert, okay, blah, blah, blah. It has, you know, a stopwatch which it talks about for a very long time, uh, a full auto calendar, and then you can also get a 24 hour format, and it's plus or minus, it's, it's accurate up to 15 seconds per month you have it. Uh, so that's pretty good, and it has a battery life of two years. So that's, that's you know, that's pretty good. Um, but the, wa the watch, I got it for, for $90. On the website it's 100 but you can find it for cheaper if you look online. Uh, the link will be down in the description. Um, but overall, I think this is a really nice watch. It's certainly not for everyone. You know, some people are just comfortable with their uh, cheaper Timex. And I think that's good too. But, uh, yep, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.